So today we were at Monster Palooza and the line to get in without will call was wrapping all the way around the parking lot. It was insane. I got to see my childhood crust today and I loved it. This man has aged like fine wine. Then we saw some really cool artwork and then there was a lot of like cool vendors around there. There were celebrities. And then I saw them doing special effects makeup, which reminded me of when I used to do special effects makeup at Monster Palooza. And here's a picture of me there at Monster Palooza. Then I saw this puppeteer who was like with the count. It was just so cool, so cool. Then we went over to the Evil Dead exhibit um, at the Mystic Museum. It was pretty cool. It's like, I would give it an eight out of 10. It's basically like the same thing as the Mystic Museum. You get to take pictures. It's really fun. We had a lot of fun there. And then there's like us. Then we went to Y2K exhibit at Mystic Museum. And that was really fun as well. We took a lot of pictures. It was just, the Mystic Museum is just like my favorite spot. I could spend like hours there. It's so fun. This was my first time or our first time going to the Y2K exhibit. We went to the Camp Horror one and we really loved that one as well. Then we went over to Boney Island with the family and it was pretty cool. I feel like it's, it's more like a kid friendly thing but I still enjoyed it. There were a lot of people there but it was a Sunday um, so just be mindful about that but it's really wacky and cool it's just a bunch of skeletons doing random things here's a skeleton and my parents enjoying the skeleton fishing they're enjoying it yeah, it's just wacky stuff you know wacky skeletons doing wacky things it's pretty fun um yeah and then we saw these guys like sharing the fears <laughs> i thought that was funny it's just pretty cool they're playing music like we saw these like really cool like Venus flytrap things. They're really cool. They were like talking and stuff. The animatronics here are very, very cool. Like they had some skeletons like ripping off their heads. It was pretty cool. Then I went, we went over to Universal Studios. Um, we didn't have Express. We went on a Thursday. I think the longest we waited for a maze was the Chucky maze. And I think it was 140 minutes. Um, overall, I would say this Evil Dead base wasn't really that scary. And then we went on the tram, which was only five minutes. It was about bugs. Honestly, it was kind of a yawn fest, I'm not gonna lie. I really did enjoy walking through, like getting the chainsaws, that was fun. Then we witnessed a proposal. Then I loved this really cool crow because I was just obsessed with him. I just kept coming back. Um, and also the grabber was not as hot in real life as you guys made it seem. And then we had this Chucky drink, which it was a five out of 10 because it didn't really taste like alcohol. And then we did this Chucky maze. My favorite was the giant Chucky. <laughs> then we drove over to Burbank. Um, I think this was like on like, I forgot what street it is. If you just look up um, Haunted Mansion in Burbank, if you're in the Los Angeles area, um, yard haunts or like yard displays, and I just fell in love with this. I mean, everything about it was just so neat and pretty and they just had everything with details. And then they also had like the coffin, like like in the Haunted Mansion, like, you know, he's kind of like coming out and sticking his hand out. I thought that was awesome. They even had talking heads in the back, just like the ride. They had a hat box ghost, which I love the hat box ghost. It just I was obsessed with it. Like this whole thing, I could I could have stayed there pretty much looking detail for detail because there was just like so many things. And then they had like fog that smelled really good. I just love how this trend now is like with really good smelling fog. I just think it's such a cool little yard display and just really, really well done and if you are in the los angeles area i would just highly recommend checking it out because it's just really cool then we checked out um this other yard display um in burbank as well i will show you the name of it but it was just a bunch of fairy tales gone wrong i think it's called scary fairy tales that's what it was called um and it was 
unique, let me tell you. Um, they had like just every kind of fairy tale gone wrong there. Then we stumbled across this clown yard haunt. It was honestly kind of terrifying. They had a lot of clowns and then they had like a giant Pennywise in the background. It was scary. And that was the end of my weekend. Thanks for watching. Bye.